Let's take a look at tomorrow's front pages, and we'll start with the Daily Mail. William and Kate in tour storm. They're forced to scrap first visit on Caribbean trip after villagers stage protest about colonialism. William and Kate. Last night cancelled their first big engagement of their Caribbean tour in an extraordinary row over indigenous rights. The royal couple have been due to begin their visit to Belize with a trip to a sustainable cocoa farm tomorrow. But the charm offensive got off to a rocky start when villagers in Indian Creek staged a protest. Ranting Putin's deluded lies at stadium rally is also befalling the front page of the Mail. The Daily Telegraph, Biden warns China not to arm Putin in Ukraine. The Guardian, threat of unlimited fine as anger grows over P and O. And of course, they fired scores of their staff unexpectedly. FT weekend, unethical sackings stir P and O storm. The Daily Mirror, Putin and his sick war rally and P and low pay. Anger as cheap workers start on P&O ships a day after 800 staff are sacked. The Times on a Saturday, smokescreen for war crimes. Trust dismisses peace talks as a sham. Biden warns China not to intervene. Putin hails troops as they enter Mariupol. How about the Daily Express? Sickening. Stalin Putin peddles his lies at war rally. And exclusive... Royals will help refugees. The Queen and her family have been so moved by the plight of Ukrainians, they are determined to find innovative ways to give refugees practical support. And finally, the Daily Star. Hot, hot, hot. For the next 10 days, we'll all be feeling toasty. Brits set for 20 degrees centigrade sizzler as spring arrives early. At last, some good news. And those are your front pages.